Welcome students. Now today we're going to do section B today, right? Uh, for section B, as you notice, this here will be your section A for your engine section. Section B is from your tractor, rest, remaining, on the rest of your uh, tractor side, okay? Now, we're, uh, tractor, uh, of course, section C is your trailer, yeah? So the linkage between tractor and trailer, there will be a coupling system that uh, on my other videos uh, that you will see and you can go and review through okay so today now we're going to do talk to talk about section b all right come on over now we're going to start with the mirror right for the mirror okay right? it's probably mounted good working condition not bent break or crack no illegal wheel no more than 10 inch away from the cab fully adjustable to driver's view no illegal sticker door Property mounted, good working condition. Open and close properly. So what you're gonna do is open and close working properly, okay? So once you open it, we're gonna come and talk about the hinges, okay? Which is here, hinges, right here, all right? So hinges, door hinge, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, property lubricated, no rust. Step, where the stairs, right? Step, probably mounted, good working condition. Not missing any hardware. Not bent, break, or crack. No illegal weld, missing no bolt. Free of any debris or any slippery substance. Okay, that's the part of the stairs. All right, um, let me come back a little bit. In the case you got a picky examiner, okay? Sometimes if you got a picky examiner, you gotta talk about the reflective, which is not in our paper. But you know, reflective, something, probably not in the working condition. Not bad, break the crack. Okay. Or you're gonna talk about a rubber seal, right? Rubber seal. Again, rubber seal. Something, probably not in the working condition. Not bad, break the crack, no uh, rubber is uh, secure, right? Steps. Talk about it already, right? Next, DEF tank, right? DEF tank. All right, DEF tank probably mounted, good working condition. No bend, break, crack, no, not leaking any fluids. Check daily to make sure it's at the proper level, secure with fuel cap, easy on, easy off. Fuel tank probably mounted, good working condition. Not bend, break, or crack, no illegal well. Missing no bolts, not leaking any fuel, uh, any fuel, not fill, uh, not filling to more than ninety percent of capacity, which we're talking about. Fuel tank, here, right? Fuel tank strap, right here, right? So we got both both sides here. Fuel tank straps, right? Fuel, uh, fuel tank and then fuel caps. Well, fuel caps, we're talking about this, not fuel caps. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, secure with a safety chain and a rubber seal. Fuel tank straps, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel, not, uh, missing no bolt, must have a rubber seal to prevent middle to middle contact. Okay? So, which means here, you got, you can, as you can see, you got a rubber seal that is on here to prevent from metal to metal contact, right? What happens when metal to metal contact? What does it do? It will create uh, static and which will cause fire, right? So that's why you gotta make sure you have the rubber seal here, right? Okay, here, uh, for the fuel tank, uh, for the fuel tank, during your exam, you don't need to take it out. But for here, we're gonna take it out. You can see, you have a rubber seal here, and you got a chain here, yeah? So that's a safety chain right there, okay? So again, during the exam, you, you don't need to open, but I'm just here to show you what that is, okay? How it looks like, yeah? Okay, here, next one. Battery box, property mounted, good working condition, property secure, connection or tight, seal caps present, no residue buildup or collusions, cover has no damage and is secure. So we're talking about a battery box right here, all right? Co all right, catwalk area, so we're talking about here. Catwalk area, right? So here, you got four items to talk about, okay? Catwalk, 
properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack. No illegal wheel, missing no boat, free of debris of any slippery substance, which is here, the catwalk, yeah? Now next one, frame, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break, a bit not bent, crack or broken, no illegal wheel. So we're talking about a frame. This frame, as you can see, looks like just a normal frame, but this is like a backbone of your spine, just like your entire of your spine. It's supporting everything. So it's very important that you check them and you make sure that it's not bent. Not make sure, of course, if it's bent, you're in big trouble with it, right? Okay, so that's uh, the frame, okay? Now, drive shaft, properly mounted, good working condition, not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, missing no boat, properly, properly lubricated, right? Drive shaft, again, that's right here. This is your drive shaft, okay? And then uh, while we add it, that's your exhaust, okay? This is your exhaust, all right? So we get a exhaust, properly mounted, good working condition, not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, no residue build up, pushing all toxic films away from the cab. Right, okay, so those are the four major ones right there. All right, so this part, we just completed with this section. As you can see, total of 13 items that we just mentioned, okay? 13 items. After we're done with this, now what we have done with section A, what did we say about section A, four items? What are four sections? What are they? S, S, B, W, right? Remember, first S is? Steering. Second S, suspension, right? Suspension. All right. First one, steering, we don't have it, right? Of course, section B, we don't have steering, right? So we have uh, this, the second S, which is suspension, right? So come over. Now we're looking at the suspension section. Remember we talk about suspension? We're talking about looking for that thin leaf, right? Now we're looking at here, hanger, thin leaf, you go and shackle, shock, right? Here, from here, right here. So you can see that's your thin leaf right there. That will be your uh, leaf spring, right? Here you got a hanger, leaf spring, u bow and shackle, which is right here. u bow and shackle. We're able to see it because we removed the truck, right? Truck, tractor, and trailer. So we're able to see it. But during the exam, you're not able to see it because your truck, your trailer is completely covered. Yeah? So what you're gonna do is gonna just say it and you're gonna point inside. Make sure you point inside. So you gotta remember it by heart, okay? So you gotta know where they are, okay? You put a shackle right there and then you gotta shock, okay? And then we're gonna add additional item for section B, which is your airbag right there. That's your airbag, all right? That's your airbag right here, okay? Make sure you talk about that, okay? Airbag, all right? Okay, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and finish seeing them for these five items. First item, hanger, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, missing no boat. Leaf spring, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, none missing. u bow and shackle, properly mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, not missing any boats. Shock. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, missing no boat, not leaking any fluids. Airbag, property mounted, good working condition. No holes, cuts, split, tears, bubbles. Airbag, property. Airbag, property mounted to the frame, not leaking any air, not making any funny sound. One of the way to check is to use a spray bottle with soapy water to check if there is a leak or have someone help me hold down the trailer brake brake handle while the red button is pressing and listen for leaks okay so that's how you check the airbag if you need it to check in that way okay uh, we put it the wording there for what purpose it's so that you know as a truck driver before we drive out a truck we know how to check our air how to check each component, okay? And instead of just for the exam purpose, but I, we want our students to understand how to check it and make sure we check it properly, yeah? So at least we have more knowledge when we go out in the real world, 
Yeah? Okay, the next one. All right, brakes. Brake hose or brake lines, right? Probably mounted, good working condition. Now cut, bubble, tears, not leaking any air, not making any funny sound, properly insulated, right? So brake hose, same thing. Remember earlier, we're talking about a brake, we're looking for that round cylinder, right? We're looking for the round cylinder, here. Right here, you see that round cylinder, right there, right? That's your brake chamber, right? Brake hose, right up here, right on the top, right? Brake hose, right there, you see that? Right there, right? Brake hose, right? Brake hose, brake chamber. On this, on section B, as you can see, there's nothing in the front, so it's in the front, in the back, right? That would be a push rod and slack adjuster. You see that? For this truck, right? For this truck, the push rod and slack adjuster is in the back. Right? That's where it is. Okay? Alright. So that's one, two, three. Remember? Five items, right? Break drum and then break inside. Okay, break drum, break down. Alright? So that would be your five items for your break. Okay? Alright, right here. So we already finished talking about the brake hose. Now we're gonna go down to brake chamber, right? Do brake chamber, right? So there's two of them. One on this side and one on the other side, okay? Do brake chamber. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, brake or crack, no illegal well, missing no bolts, no loose or missing clamps. Okay, that would be your brake chamber. Push rod and slack adjuster. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, brake or crack, no illegal well, missing no bolts, no more than two inch of play. On, in section B, that's two inch. In the section A, that's one inch. Okay, so that's the difference. Don't forget, you gotta make, make sure you mention anything that is special about it, okay? All right, now then we come down to brake drum. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, brake or crack, no illegal well, no residue build up, minimum of half inch of life. Brake pads, property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, brake or crack, no illegal well, no residue build up, minimum of quarter inch of life. Okay, all right. Again, here we have done, gone through all the components, right? Again, which one is the brake drum? How it looks like. That will be a brake drum. That's how it looks like. Okay, and that brake pad is inside that holds it down. That's how it makes it. Okay. All right, then uh, next section, remember earlier, what did we say? First S is SSBW, right? First S is steering. Second S, suspension, suspension which we talk about here. And then next one, SS, B for brake. We just gone through that. Next one, last one, W4, W4, wheel, right? All right, wheel. Now we're gonna talk about a wheel. If you remember in that way, it's much easier, at least for me, it's easier for me so that I won't miss any of the section. All right, make sense? All right, now we're gonna talk about the tires. Okay, again, right here, tire. ICD, inflation condition depth. Should be inflated to manufacturer specification. The specification is written on the tire. Dual tires. They don't have to be original, can be recapped or rethread. No cuts, rips, or bubble larger than an inch. Needs to have four inch of space between them, free of all debris. D for the depth, minimum de uh, depth, uh, thread depths of two thirty seconds inch. Check with pressure gauge for proper pressure, okay? All right, as you can see, I put these pictures there so you know how to, uh, what type of equipment or tools that you can use uh, and how to check it, yeah? There's different types of uh, checking your depth, of your th uh, depth thread, uh, your depth thread, uh, depth itself, and how to measure it, the, uh, the, the depth of it itself. So, or you can use a different type of, uh, for your tire pressure, yeah? So, which means your tire gauge for your tire pressure itself. So, so, here's your tire, and the next one is your rim, right? Rim, here. Property mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break, not bent, crack, or broken. No illegal wheel, okay? Last page, right here, come on over. Lug nuts, probably mounted, no working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal wheel. 
all present, no rust or shiny thread. Those are indication of looseness. Lug nuts again, like a here, all the lug nuts make sure it's present. And here we also have lug nuts, right? Even though this is axle seal, but it's all here, right? This axle seal right there, right? All right, next one. Air valve, probably mounted, good working condition. Not bent, break or crack, no illegal well, not leaking any air, not making any funny sounds. All right, so here, like okay, here, right? So you got, you got lug nuts, you got hub seal, I mean axle seal, and then you're looking for the valve, air valve. And that should be right here. Right here. Okay, that's air valve, right there. Okay, all right, come on up. Air valve. Uh, party mount a good working condition, not bent, break or crack, no illegal weld, not leaking any air, not making any funny sounds. Splash guard, mud flat, right, party mount a good working condition, not break or crack, not touching the floor, both sides are present, right. Rear of the lights, so, uh, so for the tire itself, I want to finish up the tire first before we move on, okay. Alright, as you can see, here we've got dual tire, so we're gonna make sure we talk about the dual tire. Very important that we're gonna mention about a four inch spacer, right here, okay, four inch spacer. You gotta make sure you check it, right? Make sure there's nothing in, in between there. No, no, no debris, right, nothing in between. So you make sure you check inside here, okay? All right, now, then now we're gonna come back to your mud flap, right? Splash guard in the front, right? Probably mounted, good working condition. Not br no break or crack, no crack. Not touching the floor, both sides are present. We, we talk about that. Now rear lights, probably mounted, good working condition. Not, bro uh, not broken, not crack, not red in color. Used for night lights, break, left, and or right signal, right? Rear lights, we're talking about this right here. So here we're gonna come down, okay? We're gonna come down here, we're gonna look here, all right? That's your rear lights. Okay, that's the rear lights right there. Right? Right. Rear natural light. That's the, this one is the one that we're talking about. This one right here. Right? Rear natural light, white light. Probably mounted, good working condition. Not broken, not cracked. Natural white in color. Used for reverse the tractor. Right? So when you put on reverse, that light comes on. Okay? Alright. Reflector. Probably mounted, good working condition. Not broken, not cracked. Reflectors. These are the ones, right? The ones. All right. Now, once you finish saying all these components, right? Don't forget. Don't think that you're done. You complete it on this side. Don't forget. You gotta tell the examiner. I'm gonna go all the way around and check the other side. Cause don't forget, you got both sides, right? In reality, in real real life, you're checking both sides. Okay. So then you're gonna check this side again. All right. So um, if any side that is not good, or any component that is good, not good. As you can see, look at the tire here, right? Once it wears out, don't say that is good working condition, yeah? So if this is not good, you make sure you say, what do you say? You say, you're gonna tell the examiner, this tire is not good, it's wear out more than the, the bed itself, I will notify the school, okay? Make sure, stuff like that, you're gonna make sure you notify the school. That needs to be checked, okay? For our yard, because it's for the yard, just backing up, we don't need to worry about that because we got dual tires to secure anyway. But for the exam, again, anything that is not good, any rust or any shiny threads that is coming on from here, you gotta make sure you mention that, okay? All right, lastly, as you notice, we said section A, that is the hub seal, right? Remember, this here, that's your hub seal, right? And then on this side, you got an axle seal, right? Axle seal. And then you got a back here. In the back here, the, the last one is your uh, uh, hub seal, right? Hub seal on the back here. H A H. Okay. H A H. Again, it's like ha ha, right? That's how it's easier. <laughs> easier to remember, right? Okay. So once we remember that, now again, we're gonna go on the other side. We check, make sure everything is good, probably mount it, all that. Right. Then you tell the examiner, again, double check. Make sure you go over again. Did I miss anything? I went and talked about all this. I talked about this. I talked about this. I talked about all this. Drive shaft. 
uh, exhaust. Once I done complete, did I do my coupling? You should do your coupling first, right? For your exam, always do the coupling first. So on my video, check on the coupling. Do the coupling before you do your section B. The examiner might not necessarily tell you gotta do the coupling, but it's your job to make sure you say the coupling first, yeah? So this way you won't forget. Because now I'm done with section B with all this stuff that I need to say, and you are eager to say I'm done with my exam, but you're not done. You gotta make sure you say the coupling first. So do your coupling, then do your section B, and you'll be good, okay? All right, good luck.